If you've ever been interested in making your own delicious, healthy acai bowls at home, then let's do this. my channel my name is Lauren I am talking all things plant-based holistic health and wellness I have six years of living plant-based under my belt and a bachelor's degree in nutrition and today we are talking about how to make your own beautiful healthy tasty acai bowl I'm gonna talk about if they're actually healthy when you're getting acai bowls out some frequently asked questions about acai how to make your own perfect bowl tips and tricks for every time to make the perfect bowl and then I'm also gonna be talking about how to source really good acai Acai. So you might have had an acai bowl before, you might have gotten one out somewhere, you might be wondering if it's pronounced acai or acai, I didn't know how to pronounce it either. <laughs> So what is acai? Well, it's a type of berry. It's pretty small. It's like a cross between almost a blueberry and a grape. It comes from the acai palm tree, which is native to Central and South America. I mean, I have personal dreams of actually going to Brazil and having an acai bowl there. I, I've tried a lot of different acai bowls out and about, and I, I wanna go eat one in Brazil. <laughs> is acai healthy for you? Well, on its own, the berry is extremely healthy for you. Acai can actually be richer in antioxidants than cranberries and blueberries. So these little berries are packed with these antioxidants which can help fight free radical damage in our body. I've talked a lot about free radicals before. I'm gonna link a video here where I go further into free radicals, but basically they are caused by lifestyle factors, they're caused by things that we eat, and they can be really damaging and cause premature aging in our body. So consuming foods with antioxidants like acai can help to fight any of that free radical damage in our body. Acai is also packed with vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats. And those healthy fats, that's why when you eat a bowl of acai, you are pretty filled up because of those healthy fats in the berry. Acai contains two essential fatty acids, omega-3s and omega-6s, which can play a role in helping to lower our cholesterol. These berries are packed with nutrition, but when you get acai bowls out, they might not be as healthy as you think. You start this beautiful berry that's rich in all these vitamins, minerals, nutrients, healthy fats, but a lot of times because this berry is pretty bitter on its own, juice shops and also manufacturers might add sugar to the berry to sweeten it up. So that's why whenever you're purchasing acai, you wanna make sure you know what is added to it. So. When you go to a juice shop, you can even ask what their acai is made from. Uh, my boyfriend thinks I'm personally crazy, but I always wanna know this, so I do ask the juice shop if um, what acai they're using. Sometimes they will look at you like you're crazy, but I'm just always curious. So are acai bowls always vegan? This is something to watch out for when you're getting acai bowls out and about. A lot of times, acai bowl shops will put honey on top of their finished bowl, so that's something to be cognizant of. If you're vegan and do not want honey, then ask that they leave the honey off. Also, I've seen this more traveling than here in the States, but sometimes acai bowl shops will add yogurt to their smoothie bowls and their mixes. So uh, if you're unsure, make sure to ask the shop what goes into the bowl so you can keep it plant-based and keep it vegan. So let's go over the things you need to make your perfect acai bowl. First, you will need your acai. So I tend to reach for frozen acai. I love, Trader Joe's has an organic frozen acai that is literally just acai, no added sugars or anything. That's my favorite to find. Sam Bozen, I think, also has some unsweetened acai packets you can get. Most grocery stores will have acai in the frozen fruit section. Just make sure you're looking at the ingredients. You can also get powdered acai if you can't find frozen at the store near you. I will link some powder options below from Amazon, but you wanna be looking for an organic source that is just pure acai powder, nothing else added to that, but that will also work to make an acai bowl. The second thing you need is frozen banana. So you wanna do this ahead of time. I recommend using really ripe bananas for your acai bowls. The riper the bananas when you freeze them, the sweeter the acai bowl will be. So to freeze your bananas, you wanna make sure you peel them. You can chop them or leave them whole, but put them in some sort of container, freeze them. You want a frozen banana to use for the acai bowl to make sure you have a really nice, like, almost like ice cream consistency. The third thing you wanna to add to your acai bowl is some sort of berry. Frozen blueberries work really well. Frozen cherries will work, frozen strawberries, but this adds some volume to your smoothie bowl it's not necessary you can even add a little more banana or a little ice to get more volume for your bowl 
I love to add a little bit of blueberry though, sometimes a little bit of strawberry, and these berries work really well with the flavor of acai. The next thing you need for your bowl is some sort of liquid. You can use water or you can use some sort of unsweetened nut milk or you can use a fruit juice. I like to skip the fruit juice for my acai bowls to lessen the amount of sugar. I like to pull the sugar straight from the really ripe bananas and the berries and not a really highly concentrated place like a fruit concentrate. A lot of smoothie shops will use like apple juice concentrate. I like to stay away from this and instead use a little water for my bowl or to make it even creamier and kind of rich, I'll use an unsweetened plant milk with only a couple ingredients. Some of my favorite really clean plant milks, I love milk or I'll make it myself, but you're looking for an unsweetened milk that doesn't have a ton of added ingredients. You basically want like a couple ingredients. You want the almonds, you want water, you want sea salt maybe, and that's about it. The next couple things are optional. Um, this is a little weird, but I always add a dash of Himalayan salt to my smoothies. I just feel like it pulls out the sweetness more of the berries. So this is just kind of what I do. Sometimes I'll also add a couple drops of stevia. If I make the bowl and taste it and it's not really sweet or tastes a little bit bitter, I will add a couple of drops of really pure, good quality stevia. You can also sweeten with other things. If you're gonna use a fruit juice, the bowl will be sweeter. I recommend making it first, tasting it. If you want a little sweetener and you use stevia, stevia works really well to do that. Also going to want toppings. So toppings is where you get really creative and can go wild. Um, there's a couple different categories to think about. You have your fruit that you can top an acai bowl with, bananas, chopped mango, kiwi, blueberries. Then you have kind of your nuts and seeds. Chia seeds work really well on top of an acai bowl. You could add a little pumpkin seeds. You can add some nut butter. Nut butter is so good on anything, right? <laughs> Who are we kidding? Um, maybe add some drippy almond butter. You can also go with some shredded coconut. That always works really well. Dried fruit like goji berries would be really good on it. And granola. So granola is like the queen of smoothie bowl toppings. It's just so freaking good. I'm always looking for granola that is only date sweetened. I don't like granola with added sugar. So I'll link below my favorite brand of date sweet granola, but this is also something that you can kind of make at home. Or if you don't have granola, sometimes I'll put just a little rolled oats on top of it and it gives it that kind of crunch and texture. So my tips for the perfect acai bowl, one is to prep. You want all of your fruits frozen and ready to go ahead of time. You want to use really ripe bananas so your bowls are sweeter. My second tip is the consistency of your acai bowl is key. So if you're using a high speed blender, use less liquid to begin with and really if you're using like a Vitamix and you can use a tamp in it, harness the power of that tamp and use less liquid because you're gonna get more of an ice cream consistency. If you're working with something like a Nutribullet or a food processor, you might need a little more liquid, but consistency is key. The less liquid probably the better. My third tip is to keep your bowl healthy by skipping out on added sugars. So when you buy frozen acai, get unsweetened. I would skip out on adding kind of a fruit juice concentrate, which is packed with a bunch of sugar. And instead, let the sh natural sugars of banana and berries pop through that acai bowl. Another tip is to actually chill your bowl first. You can put your empty bowl right in the freezer, and that way when you're adding the acai to the bowl, the warmth of the bowl isn't gonna melt your acai. So get a really cold bowl to work with. And my last tip is to get really fancy and creative toppings. It, it's like you have your own acai bowl shop right in your kitchen. So have fun with toppings and prep them ahead of time. Get crazy, take some IG shots. It's fun. So now let's make the perfect acai bowl.
pumped and ready to make your own delicious acai bowl. I'm going to link all the details below. And if you like this video and want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be back next week with a new plant-based health and wellness video. And if you want weekly tips, tricks, and recipes sent to your email inbox, I have linked up my plant-based newsletter below. You get a free immunity guide when you sign up. Thank you so much for stopping by. I can't wait to see you next week.